Of course, being a woman has not been easy. <laughs> At the beginning of my career in particular, At the end of my PhD, I met the, the assistant of the director of the Pasteur Institute at that time to uh, ask him whether I could apply one day for a position at Pasteur. And the guy looked at me and said, you think that you are going to make a career as a researcher? No way. Women never have done anything in science you better think immediately to revise your career plan. It was really a, a very hard period, for sure. Uh, however, that's the uh, best way also to, to, to say, OK, I'm going to show this, uh, this male what I'm capable to do. <laughs> So this is always also very stimulating, you know, obstacle and over, overcoming obstacle are also uh, very good stimulators. There is still a male dominant kind of culture, um, but by um, people like uh, Professor Baris Nusi being awarded this award, um, I think it gives hope to a lot of women and girls around the world. I mean, for me as a scientist is to, uh, to have uh, irrefutable data. Uh, and publish the data uh, and, and then they have to recognize and they have to forget whether I was a, I, I am a female scientist, yes or no. So they, they have the data under their eyes. When I was young, so I chose this way because of that. Because, you know, science, you know, it's, it's nothing. You know, gender is nothing. You know, it's the fact. You know, I, I think that's really one of the things that, that the reason why I chose this path. You know, she, she didn't get this Nobel Prize, not because she's a woman, just because she, her achievement was wonderful. I was told to face to face by somebody, a man, that, hey, Yoshiko, if there is a woman and, and a man with the same ability in science, we're going to take a man. Then I was very much upset. That, that, that gave me a big impact. Seeing like a, a panel of female scientists is very, like, inspir like it really inspires me as a science, like a science student being a female to like look up to them and kind of like, wow, it's me. When you are a woman in science, you must be very persistent. I even say you have to be as persistent as HIV is in the body of people affected by this virus. And you are capable to succeed if you are motivated, if you are persistent, you will succeed.